I do think it's pretty understandable that Verdon comes out with a rifle. I just hit my desk. Sorry. I, I do think I get really animated when I talk. We, we stand you. You're great. We absolutely stand you right now. Well, okay, I was eight when I first started reading the books in, like, the early 2000s, and the fact that I read all of them in Braille should totally give me a letter to Hogwarts because I was really dedicated. I vote yes. That's, that's yeah. very impressive to me. I've never read Braille. My mom actually had one of those... Um, the braille machines, the braille typewriters, because she used to work in a company for a company that did braille translations and stuff. She had like one of those braille typewriters. Does she still have it? Um, maybe somewhere in the basement, probably. You should have I mean, her check because I'll make her one. But honestly, I was like <laughs> wondering if anybody else picked up on that, and I'm like glad you did. So yeah, but like on the kind it's of person, definitely a thing. Like, I'm the yeah. kind of person when I'm reading, like, I just want to get to, like, what's happening. So, like, when I see a book list, I'm like, oh, these are the books. Cool. Like, I didn't, I, I don't even think I remember, like, actually taking in who the authors were. That's when they were, ta- when they were talking about Bethilda Bagshaw writing a history of magic. I'm like, when do we find this out? And people are like, oh, book one. I'm like, where? Like, on the book list? Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> it was like afterwards when you don't have any books left. Because, I mean, there was, what, a, a three-year wait between books four and five so so we had a lot of time to go back and like reread and yeah <laughs> i actually have a little bit of a photographic memory yeah. so i i take like snapshots of the page that i'm reading and i kind of just read it all at once and move on to the next page so sometimes i get all of the information and other times i don't but it helps a lot when we do our trivia because i can just picture the book page in my head and read it at the moment that's so what Oh man, <laughs> that's kind of like yeah, that's it's weird. Kind of like in, me. In People person. don't believe me when I tell them I have a tactile graphic memory. Because when I was a kid and I took notes in class, right? I I brailled everything up, but then I talked to myself as I was writing. So like, I have like a tactile auditory memory. So like, yeah. if you ask me a question about science, I'm like, I can literally feel the answer beneath my fingers. And people yeah, are like, oh, what? Really cool. Mine is a very visual auditory memory, yeah. so I totally get it. I'm just gonna okay. go ahead and be over here, just be a normal like can't remember anything person over here thanks my mom calls it crs (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's crs can't remember stuff stuff (laughs) Stuff. okay is that what the s stands for no Mm -hmm. it's not in this case it is (laughs) for our young listeners it's stuff madame malkin was a squat smiling witch dressed all in mauve Madam Malkin Mauve, the alliteration is happening again to me. If he had known who Malfoy was, Hagrid just could have went off about how much he hates Lucius Malfoy. So. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> He's not a very nice man. He's not. We don't have. We have a a, a specific <laughs> nickname for him. He's Nazi von douchebag the first. <laughs> And Draco obviously is Nazi von douchebag the second. Oh my god, you guys are my favorite! Oh, you didn't even get to hear the Dursley's nicknames. <laughs> what are they? What are they? What are the names? They are the Satchel of Assholes collectively. <laughs> Vernon is the Bag of Assholes. Bag of Assholes. Yeah, is the Handbag of Assholes. And Dudley is the Backpack of Assholes. I got Dragon Heart String, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't know Dragon Hearts had strings. Like, I imagine it being like a tendon type yeah. of like a no. type of deal. Yeah. All right then. Kind of like their veins or capillaries or whatever. Like I said, I I, I enjoy baking a lot, so uh, potions I believe are are very close to baking. Ellen's a baker too, actually. Um, but I feel like that would be me in like a kitchenware store. Like right? yeah. <laughs> that's me in a William Sonoma. Ellen has Which witnessed me in a William I Sonoma. I have witnessed that. <laughs> I actually mistakenly <laughs> left her there unattended and she left with a bunch of stuff <laughs> yeah it wasn't it, it wasn't her best idea no um she wasn't but... supposed to spend money either <laughs> oh, it's like leaving me what, though it's like leaving me in a barnes and noble <laughs> yes yeah basically you can't do that with me either that's william sonoma barnes and noble you can't leave me in those places or bath and body yeah. works <laughs> i'm i'm good there i can only smell so much stuff but Oh. I love Bath and Body But Works. Bed Bath & Beyond? Yeah, I'm looking at everything. I'll say <laughs> oh that. God, I love Bath and Be- Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I can see I can see the appeal of 
the apothecary. Definitely. Yeah, like, he didn't have to hitchhike, which would have been weird because he's 11. It, it wouldn't have surprised me that the Dursleys would have been like, find your own way because you suck. Cause oh, suck. okay. Now that I'm thinking of hitchhiking, technically, like, calling on the night bus, isn't that technically hitchhiking? Well, yeah. If he would have well. figured it out. <laughs> Because he discovered the night bus on accident, so he would have had to accidentally figure it out two years earlier. So, there is that. No, but, like, in general, like, don't you think, like, calling the night bus is, like, hitchhiking? Because you stick up your wand, it's, like, sticking up a finger? (laughs) Kinda, yeah. Except, except you pay for the night bus, so. There's probably a less... A lesser element of stranger danger? Yeah, you're probably <laughs> slightly less likely to be murdered in your sleep, but not always, because the buses are Unless aren't... it's by a bus crash. Yeah, that's <laughs> really good. You could probably die on the night bus with the way they drive. Uh, since the Dudleys, since the Dudleys, dear God, <laughs> if I'm young and all of a sudden I find out that my brother's going to school with my crush, I'm losing my mind. Like, I'm going crazy. I mean, she did. She totally yeah. lost her mind. Well... As well she should have, because that is some <laughs> overwhelming stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> I totally, like, uh, I'd, I'd be like the one, I'd be the one sending my brother's out. I was like, can you tell Harry that I said <laughs> hi? What's Harry up to now? Can you tell Harry I love him? Wait, actually, don't say that. <laughs> my... I, I had I had a huge crush on my best friend's brother growing up, and it was, like, so awkward to be around him at all times because I'm just like blushing and laughing at everything he says and I felt so stupid and now I'm just like oh my god what he must have thought good I Lord. totally relate I could I had, a, I had a crush I had a crush on um my best friend's brother I had a crush on him too mm-hmm. and it was just super super weird it was really weird. yeah I, I had no chill I feel like he knew too did you guys read Cursed Child we all know who yes. Charlie Witch mm-hmm. is wait what freaky the Charlie Witch like transformed and had like spears for hands and it was like yeah not good yeah, it was weird um but yeah it's, i'm still it's... in i'm innocent i haven't read cursed child yet i don't know if i want to i want to <laughs> from what i understand it's better seen than read but if you're used yeah. to yeah. reading screenplays you can imagine pretty well yeah so. i i'm i'm good with whatever the fact that covid is still happening i'll probably have to read it yeah <laughs> And people want us to do his Cursed Child episode, so I'm going to make her read it. Holy shit, I just pulled a lion out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out a badger. I pulled out a raven. As someone who is deathly afraid of snakes, I'm running. <laughs> I'm just saying. That thing better be stuffed or I'm out. <laughs> I'm just out. Do they stuff snakes? Is that... I mean, I'm talking like a like a plush, like a like a stuffed animal snake. I I'm not talking. I mean, I'm not talking a taxidermied snake for God's sake. <laughs> Although I'm sure they do. I mean, I'm sure that's a thing you can do. But you didn't go with rubber snake. You went with stuffed snake. I literally mean like a like a stuffed animal, like a plush. <laughs> Shakespeare couldn't have written it better. Written it better himself. You want to try that again? <laughs> Shakespeare couldn't have written it better himself. Humbugs are a traditional hard-boiled sweet available in the United Kingdom, Ireland, South Africa, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. They're usually flavored with peppermint and striped in two different colors. Oh, so it's so basically they're just, sugar. They're just, they're mints. They're mints. Mm-hmm. Yeah, starlight mints. Yeah, but what are they doing on the dinner table? I'm so confused. <laughs> They do say in the book, for some strange reason, peppermint humbugs. Yeah. Uh huh. So I want to know what <laughs> I don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> Maybe it's a palate cleanser. Yeah. Maybe it's between the roast beef and pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> I take a couple of fries. It depends on the fries. Uh, <laughs> depends on the fries. I eat all of them. Like, are there steak fries? Are they like those shoestring fries? Oh, I love steak they... and I like steak and you know? waffle fries. Are they are they like those JoJo's? I don't like Jo. I'm not a fan of the JoJo's. <laughs> I just never what met a the... potato I didn't like. What are the JoJo's? I mean, I'm Irish. I'm very. I'm genetically inclined to love a potato, but <laughs> I prefer them crispy, and that's just that's how I am. So oh yeah, those potatoes. I'm down with boiled potatoes. Eh, that can be iffy. If it's just mush, 
Mm. I'll just eat them all. I'd I'll eat them all as long as they're not sweet potatoes. potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. And I'm not big on sweet potatoes. Yeah. Sweet potato do with love a little you. bit I... of salt and butter is the only way I can eat them. Oh. Yeah. I don't like potatoes. I, I... just like crispy fries. Wait, what? I don't like potatoes at all. I don't eat them. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't make, that doesn't make Guys, sense we're getting so close to the end we can't start fighting now <laughs> don't, fight. don't let it it was going so well and then it all broke down over potatoes <laughs> that's just how i'm gonna roll jello i see that as a cheat that's not a dessert that's something they give you in the hospital i'm sorry that, that like, is that's... true that is true <laughs> i i had it i had that's that as, as part of my diet when my appendix came out and it wasn't even jello. It was like this clear, we- weird looking crap that they were like, you should eat this. You're healing. And I'm like, that looks terrible. And yeah. yeah. I'm s- no. But I love other jello, okay? I-, I like I like jello, but it is a cop out dessert because all it is is water and sugar. So it's a cop. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I like jello. Yeah. I mean, I like I like cherry jello. I'm down with cherry jello. Uh that's really all I am on maybe some blue raspberry jello I'm okay there I, not as a, not as at uh, not as a dessert that's just yeah that's where it's I'm kind at. of a cop out unless you have it's a snack. unless you have strawberry pretzel jello salad see I don't even know if I could go with that but I will I will agree that jello and cool whip are very yeah. good partners but if you put fruit in jello it's gross I don't like jello at all yeah, so I'm no. staying out of this conversation <laughs> that's okay you can be wrong from Ellen over here. <laughs> oh, 